Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with us to play Suikoden on the Sony PlayStation. But last time, we finished up at Scarleticia Castle and got um, Milik as a party member, and then we got beat up by uh, General Tio McDowell, or Dole, or whatever you want to pronounce it, when Pond tried to go mano a mano with him. So, yeah. Uh, now, I know that this fight is winnable, so I'm going to try to win it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and try again. We're going to skip all the dialogue. We're going to go ahead with, uh... Oh, um... Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 I don't care. Go away. That's fine. You can join the party. And we're going to see if Pawn is Mon enough to beat General Teal this time. Because I know, I know it can be done, and from what I understand, uh... Pawn has to survive this in order to get the best ending of the game. Now, I probably could look up, like, uh, what his... what his, uh, quotes are and figure out which attacks to use from there, but I'm just gonna trial and error my way through here. So we'll see how it goes. And then, after I die to this first attempt, assuming I do, which I probably will, we'll just cut out this little battle part afterwards and not worry about that. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of die here, so... Yeah, yeah, Teal McDowell is going to kill his son because we're just not awesome enough. So let's just charge. Yeah, he's got armored cavalry, and we... Well, don't. Yeah, we took a lot of damage there. Uh, just keep on charging, keep on dying, let's do it. Yeah, see, they've got giant spears and horses and stuff. Uh, we appear to be not having that, so, yeah. Also, the fact that they're literally invincible right now and they can't take any damage. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, let's uh, get out of here and try again next time. And by next time, I mean, well after I die here. Alright. Pawn, you should be ready to... get going here. Oh, I did gain a level for Pawn to get him up to um, level 32. Just in hopes that the extra a little bit of HP that he gets, I think he got something like 60 HP extra, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully that'll help him out with uh, surviving here. As far as I know, we have the best possible equipment for him, uh, the best accessories, and his sword is at the highest level, so it's not like we can do anything else besides, you know, gain more levels, but at some point it'll take forever to gain another level. Like, probably from now to level 33, it probably would. So we're just going to keep on trying this way. Okay. Your sword's not rusty yet. Uh, let's start off with a desperate attack, see how well that goes. Okay, our desperate attack succeeded. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and defend here, see if this works. No, you're defending as well. Okay. And then let's go with a... I didn't see what he said there, but let's just go with another regular attack there. Okay, he did... I think he did more damage to us there, unfortunately. And hopefully our desperate attack works. Okay, it worked. Awesome. And... Let's just go with an attack here. Hopefully... He defended. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go with an attack here. I think he's going to win. I think Desperate Attack beats out uh, Physical Attack. Oh, it was tied. Hang on a second. This is the losing dialogue, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's get back into the action here. 
I'm kind of curious if he has a set pattern like um, like Marco did for the dice game or whatever. Like, can I always start off with a desperate attack and then attack when he's defending? Uh, I don't know. He has the same dialogue right there, so desperate attack will work here, I think. Okay, so we did damage there. And he's going to defend, so let's... I think he's going to defend, so I'm going to attack here. Oh, no, he's attacking. Never mind. Yeah, that did a lot of damage to me, actually. Okay, that looks like a desperate attack. Uh, I'm going to try defending here. Okay, yeah. Because he said something about his desperate attack there. Did you see me coming? Okay, that sounds like a regular attack. Uh, let's try desperate here. Hopefully we win and don't die. Yes, I think we got him. Awesome. Perfect. So he didn't have a set pattern, but it looks like his uh, dialogue was reasonably easy to figure out. Hey, I'm doing a super attack or I'm just doing a regular attack or whatever. And he is obviously shocked that we were victorious here. You've improved, Pawn. Island Greenseal, let us retreat. If you let me, General, I'll take his head. You're a bloodthirsty little bastard, aren't you? I said retreat. Are you de Are you deaf? Yes, General. Yes, General, I are deaf. And Pawn survives. Yay. Ha, ha, ha. I won. Order to show mercy, let me go. Uh, you probably won since the last couple times you died. So, yeah. Yay, we survived. Um, and I don't have anybody in my party. What does Luke want? Oh, Luke's uh, the stone tablet dude. Okay. Uh, hey, it's the painter guy. How you doing there, dude? I haven't yet found the color I'm looking for. Oh, so we give him paint, I guess. Okay. Possibly. I thought I had paint in my inventory. Oh no, it's probably all in my character inventory, actually. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and find Pawn and see what he has to say. I think he's going to be hanging out on probably the fourth floor. Yeah, probably. So let's check that out real fast. That was easy enough to defeat him. I granted, I I don't know if the extra level actually helped or not, but I'm gonna guess that it did. Ah, yeah, Pawn, you are alive, sir. And all you care about is your dinner. You're a one-track mind, sir. A one-track mind. All right, what do we got here? Armored cavalry. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. What the hell is that? Our attacks are useless. Yeah, it kind of is. Commander Tyr, the soldiers are exhausted. We better rest. Master Tyr, your bed is ready. Please clear your mind and rest. Oh, we have to go sleep. Okay. Fair enough. Not like we have anything better to do with our day. Like, you know, go out and then kill our dad again. Or knock it, or get killed by our dad, I guess. Tyr. Hey, it's the guy from the beginning of the game. Tyr. Wake up, Tyr. Hey, he's actually in our room. Tyr, you're lost and confused. I am? I seem pretty, uh, lucid, as far as I can tell. Grimmiel's death, your battle with your father, but you must go on. Uh, why? It is about time I tell you about myself and my older sister, Wendy. Ah, wait, you're related to her? What? My sister Wendy and I are survivors of the Clan of the Gate. Tyr, look at the rune Ted gave you on your right hand. Yes, the one that miraculously gained a um, level 2 attack spell without me realizing it. Oh, by the way, uh, I was testing it out. It's not just an instant death, like I thought it might have been. It actually does damage. So, there we go. So, it's probably good for bosses and stuff. That rune, the Soul Eater, is one of the 27 true runes. There are many runes in this world, but they were all born of the 27 true runes. Therefore, the 27 true runes had terrible powers within them. 
A soul eater you carry has yet to unleash its true potential. My sister Wendy also carries one of the 27 true runes to Gate Rune. The Gate Rune is terribly powerful, but she wants something greater. That is why she is after you. If my sister obtains two true runes and uses them for revenge, it will be catastrophic for this world. The true runes are far too powerful to be used by humans. Only you can stop my sister. Time is running out. Do not lose your confidence. Be brave. Yay! Can we, uh, do stuff now? And let me check something real fast here. Let's walk and check at the same time. Assuming it shows up. You're always hungry there, Pawn, my good sir. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's see what uh, Matthew and everybody else has to say now. Good news. Flick. Uh, what? Commander Tiara was saved by Odessa. Hey, I had an idea while you were sleeping. Uh, let's hear it. Okay, you're not going to tell me. Hey, listen up. Leader, I have a great idea. What is it? Tell me. Fire spears, remember? Ah, yeah, the ones that were destroyed the uh, dwarf village, or the elf village. Sure, we delivered the blueprint to Sarity. If we can get those things, we should be able to defeat the armored cavalry. After all, the fire spear was Odessa's final gift. Wait, was it? Was it? Was that the one for the elf thing, or that, was that something else? I don't remember, and Sanchez doesn't know. When the old Liberation Army's hideout was attacked, it seemed that other hideouts were destroyed as well. We don't know if the secret factory survived. We have no choice but to find out. For the moment, all we can do is go north where the secret factory was. We'll have to travel by water, of course. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have to go north. But to get to the secret factory in the north... Okay, so we have to go waterways. Got it. Alright. Um, you let me change my party, right? It's either you or the other guy that I can't remember the name of. It's not you, you're the little apple person who is more or less just a decoration as far as I can tell. So, no thanks. And nobody's upstairs, I don't think. So we gotta figure out where they are here. Was it you? I think you're just another stone tablet person. No, you're not. You're the you're the alchemist guy that we just saved. Okay. I uh, like to go home, but I have to clean my house. Tough. You're stuck here right now, guy. You're not going anywhere. Where is the? You know, maybe there is something above the fourth floor that I forgot about. Or he might be on the second floor. Either way, I eventually need to get my party together so we can actually go do stuff, because that'd be fantastic. Oh, Flick's all excited. Good for him. Uh, you're dancing. You go away. Blacksmiths that are not capable of taking my weapons up to level 12. You just got a bath scene. Uh, is there anything I need to deposit here? Let's drop off. Nothing. Okay. Just wanted to check. Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Uh, let me see if I can't withdraw the paints and give it to that painter dude. Okay, yellow. White. Black. And I think we can buy red. So let's go buy red real fast. And then we'll give it to him and see what he says about anything. We might have to give it to him in a certain order, though. I'm not sure. And if we do have to give it to him in a certain order, well, then we can just go ahead and... Oh. Hey, Tier, don't look so morose. You'll depress everyone else. Are you going to bitch about money again? 
Under the circumstances, I'll have to stick with you until the end. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's buy the red paint and go from there. Uh, we have plenty of cash at the moment. If I need more, I'll get it off screen or something. Okay, we have blue paint, we have yellow paint. I thought we had red paint somewhere. Oh, I don't have blue paint in my inventory. Okay. Okay, let's uh, save up and give this to the painter and see if that does anything. If not, well, we'll find out. And then we'll try to leave and see if that triggers anything. Yeah, the grind to get uh, uh, Pond up to level 32 from 31 only took a few minutes at the Scarleticia Castle. I think it took like 10 minutes or less, so it was worth it, I think. But I think I think it's mainly about, uh, what is it, getting the proper combination, uh, or not the proper combination, paying attention to what he says and getting ready, or er, making sure you counter his attacks properly. I guess everyone went back to their rooms. Okay. I think we might just be able to leave. Alright. I got paint for you, buddy. Oh. Well, there's some of your paint stuff there. So, do we just... Looks like we might need green paint. Okay, now did that take it out of my inventory? That's the question. It did! Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and get our party together. And I think... I'm pretty sure that... Um, Victor has... Red paint on him somewhere. Uh, let's change our party members here. And we can... Looks like we can actually fully choose our party, which is nice. Okay, Victor. You're in the group at the moment. Camille, you're probably not. Uh, Pawn, you're probably not as well. Uh, let's see. Cleo, yes, let's do that. Uh, I also need Kirkus, because we do need to get him up to level 35 at some point here. So that, let's do that. Uh, let's see, Valeria, okay, two smalls, a medium, two larges, we can either get one more medium or one more small, uh, let's see, Lapont, I don't really care about you, who's the other one that I wanted to have, I don't think it was Lorelei, it was, wait, who's that new person that we got, we got, uh, it was, was it Kanak, no, it was Kasumi, 38, uh, long range. Looks like she has pretty good overall stats there. Let's see, so either Kasumi or probably Flick. Let's see. Kasumi's really fast. Let's see. You have 115 power. She has 106. Then again, we also need to upgrade her weapon a little bit, I think. I think Flick might be a little better uh, with his stats overall. I think uh, mainly Kasumi beats him out on speed. Okay, let's just take Flick, because why not? And let me see about item for Victor. Okay, he has the, he has the red paint, that's great. And let's put our formation properly here. Let's put Victor. 
There we go. That's good stuff right there. And that should be okay, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, I can run around again. Awesome. Uh, that's not quite where I'm trying to go there. Okay, so we have the red paint. We've given him brown, uh, yellow, black, and blue, I think. I don't remember already. But after we give him the red paint, we'll probably just need to give him a green paint, if I had to guess. Just because I see a green bucket in his little studio there. Or we might just need like a couple more uh, buckets of paint or something. Okay, well, either way, we got that. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see if there's any any people we can recruit right at the moment. I don't think we have to worry about that. Okay, let's just go ahead and get out of here and head to the north. I want to see if there's any cutscenes when we head outside. And then if there's not, I'll go ahead and take a moment to get everybody all blacksmith up and equipment up and everything like that just to be on the safe side. And then after that, we'll head out. Okay. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, not boss, Master Tear. Shut your mouth. Anyway, take a look at this. High-speed boat I made. Ooh, nice. Well, that old geezer helped out, too. We're about to have a launching ceremony. Care to take a ride in it? Uh. Yes. A novice can't possibly pilot this thing. Please bring someone who knows boats. Ah, oh, you bastards. Don't do this to me. What a filthy mouth this fellow has. Okay, so we have to... <sighs> Who's the experienced pilot then? Ah, fudge me. Damn it, why do you do this to me, game? Does this mean we're gonna have to have a different... have one of these idiots in our party every time we want to use the boat from now on? I really hope that's not the case. Alright, Cleo, you're getting the boot. And then, since I have to admit one of these idiots into the party... Uh, let's see, who can we put in there? Uh, we'd probably be one of like the pirates or something. Let's put, um, where is he? Uh, where was that, uh, main pirate that we got? It wasn't Kanok, it was... I forgot who it was. Yeah, screw it. Let's just put uh, Connock in there, and hopefully that works. If not, well, we're hosed. Yeah, let's try this again. Okay, are we good to go? He's a pirate. Of course he knows boats. Okay, your name is Jen. I don't think I can put you in the party. Uh, Quandol, I don't know if I can put you in the party. Who the heck am I going to put in the frickin' party for this damn boat? I'd rather just have the old slow boat if you're going to screw me over like this game.
Okay, apparently the pirate doesn't know anything about boats, so there you go. Okay, not Kwanda. It was Kendon. He's not there. Uh, let's see. Well, how do we know who knows anything about boats? I don't think it was Varkus. Because Varkus was the guy that we saw like a while ago. Canox 37. Who was it? It might be you, actually. Yeah, it might be on. It might be Anji. Okay, let's give that a shot. See if that works. If not, I will look it up because I have no idea who the frick we're supposed to bring for this damn boat. I wonder what happens if you teleport out of here and do you just not have the boat for later purposes? I'll be right back. Okay, apparently uh, Tai Ho is the only person in the whole base that can use the boat for some reason. So, there we go. Alright, can I get on the boat now? No, I guess I have to go through this dialogue each and every time. Oh, come on. Just let me on the damn boat so I can get out of here. Oh, this is really something. Everybody hang on. Let's go. Okay, well, at least it goes a little faster, I suppose. Alright, so our goal, he said, was to the north here. Uh, I'm going to assume they don't mean over here, because, well, that's just not going to work. Can we do anything with this? A suspicious character. Who are you? Uh, or the guy that's running away. Okay. So, where exactly to the north are we headed? There might be, like, a whirlpool around here somewhere that we can get past that I have forgotten about. So let's look for that. Probably that right there, yeah. Alright. Cool. And we made it to Kirov. Awesome. Uh, let's start with the house right here. Why not? Uh, is this supposed to be like an inn? Because if it is, it's a not very... It's a not very staffed inn, that's for sure. That big house over there belongs to Kun Tu, the boss of Kirov. Okay. And your soup's about to boil over. Ooh, tasted stew. Very smooth. Okay. I guess uh, the stew is good. Uh, we have to go around to talk to that guy, I guess. Uh, how about you? I'm Melody. Who are you? Wow, leader of the Liberation Army. I'm nothing compared to you. But a rune master once told me that I have a special power to use it, though. I need a rune. Uh, what kind of rune? Yeah, let me see if uh, we have the rune necessary for this. Let's see. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Looks like she's a leader acquisition. Who are you people? I'm just doing the laundry. Uh, I guess we could recruit you. Why not? Sure. The Liberation Army. That should be plenty of laundry. Okay, I'll join. But only if you go get me some soap. I just ran out. Okay. Where the heck do we get soap from? Uh, I don't need any more stew, thanks. The Empire's control is lax around here, so there are a lot of seafaring smugglers. That can't be good. There was a terrible battle up north in Kaleka. I don't even want to remember it. Well, I'd like to hear about it, but you're not going to tell me, I guess. Uh, you don't have soap. You have sugar. Sacrificial Buddha, Fortune Crystal, Fire Crystal. Ooh, double experience. That's not too shabby. It's extra expensive, but it'd be something to get for later. I'm going to assume that we need this sugar for something at some point. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that to Taiho at the moment. I don't know if we're going to need it like anytime soon, but 
we'll get it we'll put it in our inventory and see how it goes sure I have some soap and I'll gladly lend you some but I'm out of soy sauce will you get some for me is this gonna be like a, a Zelda trading quest where we gotta get into like freaking um, eight different items to get one item or something like that let's see what he got here dragon armor hello we lose out on the speed bonus, but it gives extra defense. Chaos shield for you guys. That's great. Silver ring. Silverette. Or let. Silver necklace, which nobody can use. Okay, let's give... Valeria can... By the way, these opals, as far as I can tell, they don't do anything. So I gotta remember to put those away at some point. Matter of fact, uh... I'm going to call it an episode here, go put away all that stuff, do my shopping, and next episode we'll continue exploring the town of, uh, what was it, Kivok? But anyways guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.